Welcome back to my channel, and here we've got Coco, who is the star of today's show. <laughs> this is Coco, he is a 10 year old Maltese, and he's my little baby boy, and I thought it would be fun to test out some Wish products that I ordered for him. Some are gonna be toys and stuff that he might like, and some are gonna be fashion related, which is gonna be more for me than for him, but that's okay, because he's okay with wearing clothes. So the first item I got for him is this eating sport, play with your food little toy. So basically the idea of this product is you put little pebbles inside and then he gets to kind of try to figure out how to get the pebbles out. It's like a game for him, which I think will be good for him because he tends to eat his pebbles way too fast. He kind of just rushes when he eats and I feel like he needs something to kind of slow himself down and maybe enjoy his food for once. He kind of just scarfs everything down and doesn't taste it. And also he tends to like treats obviously more than he likes to eat pebbles. So this might make it more fun and enticing to eat his pebbles. So it looks like this and I fill it up through here. So there's like a little lever here that you can turn and then here it fully opens it. And then if you want to make it a little harder for him, there's like different levels. So if you do it on like level two, then it's open a little bit so some will fall out and then the more you open it up, the more pebbles come out. And hopefully this makes eating pebbles more fun for him. All right, let's see. Let's see if he figures it out. You have to play with it, look. Pebbles fall out, look, they're falling out. You have to do it, you have to touch it. I mean, he knows they're in there and he's curious, but he just doesn't, oh, oh. Go, touch it. Go. Oh, oh. We're starting to get somewhere. Now he's like, how do you do this? Get it. Get the pebbles. Get it. There you go, like that. Yeah, go. Get it. That's how it works. <laughs> <laughs> Don't bark at it. You have to do this. Look, he just stares at it. <laughs> Baby, you gotta do well, something. He thinks it shoots it out. Yeah, I don't know if he realizes that, oh, okay, he's starting to act on. I think it might be better suited for bigger dogs, but honestly, I think he's having fun with it. He's starting to figure it out. There you go, starting to play with it. <laughs> oh, it worked, there you go. The more he realizes that when he like pushes it, something happens, you know? I think he gets it, kind of. He just has to keep experimenting with it till he figures it out. I think this is honestly a great toy though. Yeah, but you gotta, do, you gotta keep trying, you can't give up. <laughs> there you go, you got one. <laughs> I kinda love this. It's so funny watching him try to figure it out. The next item I got is this cute little Adidas sweater little outfit. It's not a sweater, it's more like a jumpsuit, I guess you would call it. It says a D-Dog and it's supposed to be like a Adidas style little jumpsuit. It has like a little hoodie and I think it's gonna be so cute on him and I don't know, we'll see. He's probably gonna hate this one, especially because of the hoodie. But if it's actually cold, this is gonna be good for him. So hopefully he will comply with this. Oh my god. Look how cute you look. Are you an ad dog? <laughs> oh my god. Hold on, let me fix your little hoodie. <laughs> you look like such a little cutie. All right, model. Let me see, walk. He just gets stiff when I put clothes on him. It's not that bad. Okay, we'll take the hoodie down so your ears are free. Let me see you walk. Coco, you hate it? For every alpha you try on, you get a treat. Oh, there we go, we're walking. There you go, a D-Dog. I think this is actually pretty comfortable. I mean, it's just like a little sweater. It's good for when it's cold. If he wants to go for a walk and it's cold outside, which only happens for like five days of the year <laughs> when it's Florida. But you know, hey, at least when it does happen, he has a little sweater that he can go out in and look fashionable. I'm sorry, dude. Whoa, <laughs> we just have a crazy cat in the loose. 
Do you hate it? I'm sorry. Oh my god, look at this cat in the background. <laughs> So Coco's favorite snacks are radishes and carrots. Every time he tries on a new outfit, he'll get a piece of a carrot. So, here you go. Look at the model. Oh my goodness, Adidas. Adidog. The next thing I think he won't mind so much is this little bow tie. Because he's actually okay with wearing things around his neck that doesn't bother him. It's just when he wears full-on clothing. So this is the little bow tie that I think is gonna look so cute. And it's like his little fancy, like, I don't know. I don't know why he would ever need a bow tie, but sometimes in life we just gotta get them bow ties. So he has a little cute bow tie for when he feels fancy, and I think this will be, out of all the clothing items, this will be the one that he won't mind as much. Honestly, this one's my favorite because it is the easiest and low maintenance. I don't think he minds it that much at all. It's not like it interrupts his walking or anything. He doesn't like hate it. Yeah, this one I think gets a 10 out of 10, right Coco? This one's not too bad. You like it? It's not that bad, you look so cute. Are you the most handsome? Look at you. Are you ready for the ball? You're gonna get your girlfriend, Zachi? He has a girlfriend, Zachi. <laughs> he definitely knows who I'm talking about right now. And uh, you can take her out on a date like that. You can go to a fancy little restaurant and do the whole lady in the tramp scene. So the next item I got is another toy. And this one's just kind of like a simple toy, but I saw it and I thought, hey, why not? It looks like something he might actually enjoy. It does have a squeaker. And it looks like a little, you know, like a little piece of meat. So hopefully he will enjoy it and we'll see. He does like to play fetch, but he gets bored of it after like 10 seconds. He'll do like maybe two or three rounds and then he'll just kind of give up. So we'll see how long he spends playing with this. But he tends to enjoy new toys. And when he has a new little stuffed animal or toy to play with, he tends to always go for that one. So I think that if this is the new one he gets, he might start using it more often because that's te he tends to like the new thing and then he'll forget about the old stuff. So. We'll see. Okay, look, it's a toy. This is your toy. Now the real question is if he fetches it. Ready? Get it. Oh, yay. Oh, that's it? <laughs> okay, ready? Get it. No? Get it. Get it. Wow. I mean, he has a whole bed here of toys, and these are all his favorite toys. Get it. <laughs> Give it to me. <laughs> Ready? Get <laughs> Alright, he likes a toy. This next item is really funny to me it is a little hat and again I know he's not gonna love this but I just thought it'd be so cute to see him in a little hat it's a little hat his ears come out through here and then you tie it here to make it fit and it just looks like such a cute little cap so I'm very curious to see it's a sun hat material so he could wear this out in the sun I thought the red and the white would look cute with his white hair so let's see how he likes this hat Okay, I'm not sure about the hat. <laughs> it looks so funny, but obviously it seems like it's definitely... I mean, it doesn't look that bad, actually. It just kind of looks funny. I mean, it is good if he's... Like he's gonna go golfing. <laughs> I feel like it looks good in some ways, and also it's not the most uncomfortable. His ears are out. Under here is the little <laughs> strap for the chin, so it's nice and snug. You look cute! He looked like he looked like a sporty dog. Are you gonna go play some tennis? Some basketball? It does look cute actually, honestly. I don't know why he would ever wear it to be honest. I, the only thing I could think of is if it's super sunny, <laughs> but even then I don't see him cooperating with the hat. But I just think it, you know, it's cute. I do, I do think the ear part is kind of awkward. It's a little higher up, so it's making his ears go up. Mm. I still think you look like a handsome, handsome little sporty dog. Ready to go play some b-ball. Do you hate it? I'm sorry. You're being a great model though. You want a treat? Now you get a radish for being such a good boy. So this next item is kind of 
like a leash, but it's also like an, a clothing item, kind of. It's kind of the two things together. So it's a little leash that you can actually connect to, to go take them for a walk, but it looks like a little like a little suit, which is so cute. So it's like a little fancy version of a leash, which it does come with the strap to tie to the leash. Um, he might get very excited and think he's gonna go for a W-A-L-K, which if I say that word, he freaks out. Um, but it is rain outside right now, so technically he can't go test it out right now. I just thought this was such a cute way to like, I don't know, little fancy walks. I don't know, why not? Introducing the model. <laughs> Okay, I think this one is perfect for you. You look like a handsome little prince. You are ready for the show. <laughs> I think you look so cute. I mean, you look happy. I don't know if you are happy inside, but you look happy. <laughs> I think you look like the perfect little gentleman. Another treat. One more treat for you. Now this item is so silly and I just, I had to get it. It's a little like, <laughs> it's a little sh button down shirt that looks like a Hawaiian shirt. So it's like, I mean we live in Florida so this is kind of like, to me, perfect. It's pineapple and flower print and it's like a little Hawaiian shirt and it's buttoned down. And I think he's gonna look so cute. I mean, I just think it's such a perfect like, I don't know, not that he goes out to places that, but if he did go to like, a place where he could wear. I don't know this is just he's not gonna go anywhere with these things okay this is all just for fun and to see how he looks in them and I wish I could take him to like a little cute beach but then he would get too hot so I don't even know where you would take him out in this but it's just cute and I'm gonna I want to see what he looks like in it that's it it's just that's what, the whole point of this right okay <laughs> it's a little snug but then it's also very long it's kind of weird it's weird how it's like tight a little bit in the back, like a little bit right here, but then also it's very long on him, so it's like, what kind of dog is this built for? <laughs> what do you think about this one? I mean, I think it's super cute. I don't know why the arms look like sleeves. I don't know if they're supposed to be like that. I feel like they're not supposed to be that long that they actually go all the way to the bottom, but the concept is cute. I don't think he hates it that much. What, what, what do you rate this? 5 out of 10? <laughs> you want a treat now for being a good boy? You are handsome, you know that? You're a model. We're gonna make you a star. What happened, kitty? You know, your day is gonna come soon, ma'am, and it'll be all about you, but today is not about you, it's about Coco. Alright. Another radish for cooperating. Ow. Okay, the last thing I got him is actually kind of practical. Um, he's not gonna like it, but it's actually beneficial for him because this is how he can go for a W-A-L-K when it's raining because it's a little raincoat. <laughs> so it rains a lot, obviously, here in Florida. It's raining right now. And this is the only way that he can go out and walk without getting soaked. It says, I like the feeling of rain uh, what? But it's really cute. They had different color options. I picked the green and then you get this little like strap and you kind of strap it in the bottom So it wraps around his waist and it's just a little raincoat So I thought this was super convenient again. He might not realize and appreciate it But this is actually the only way he can go outside and not get soaked. So technically he should be very happy about this So we'll see how he feels Coco has his raincoat on Look how cute you look It's a little <laughs> He's such a great model. <laughs> Whenever I put clothes on him, he just stays still. But look at you. You look so handsome. Do you want to go test it out and see if it works? Want to go pee-pee? Let's go pee-pee. Come on. <laughs> Coco. Okay, let's go pee-pee. Come on. Okay, so it is raining. <laughs> so this is the perfect opportunity to test this out. So you want to go pee-pee? <laughs> Hold on. Let me fix your ear. Come here. Hold on. All right, go pee pee. Go pee pee. What happened? You don't want to test it out? Go pee pee. <laughs> Kitty's here like, what is going on? 
<laughs> so obviously the hood part is very long on him and he doesn't like this at all but <laughs> I feel like if he actually needed to go outside and pee because I guess right now he doesn't want to this is a great opportunity right you don't like it you don't approve oh, I'm sorry I'm sorry we can return it if you don't like it we can return it but it's just you've got a haircut and you look so clean right now and you're such a cute boy I don't want you to get dirty all right last treat and yeah, basically when it comes to Coco, all he likes is treats. And I didn't want to buy him any treats through Wish because I really didn't trust buying dog food or snacks there. He has so many treats anyways at home that I'm like, what's the point? So I really focus on getting him a lot of clothing and silly little things, but he has so many toys. I didn't want to go overboard with buying him a bunch of stuffed animals and toys when he has a bunch already. He's not really the kind of dog that plays with a bunch of ropes and he's very low made. He just likes to sleep, eat, and be loved so really a lot of this was just for me to see what he looks like wearing these things but you know it's fun so if you have a dog why wouldn't you want to do this and by the way I do have another video coming up soon where I'm testing wish products out on my cat because I did buy stuff for the cat as well and I'm more curious about that because she is very finicky and complicated sometimes so for her I definitely focus more on like toys and stuff she could play with because she's very playful and enjoys that and I don't think I could actually put her in clothing not yet at least there's no way I can do that right now she's still very like skittish about wearing stuff and trusting me to put things around her but Coco is pretty good with clothing so that's why I took advantage hopefully you enjoyed that and toodaloo